Viola, oh. do you want to tell us a little bit about how you got started as an artist? Well, I guess it started when I was in the first grade <laughs> because I saw the teacher drawing pictures of squirrels and different things for us to do or coloring on and I thought that was the greatest thing ever was to be able to do that, you know. So I um, tried my hand at it and it didn't work so well and I kind of gave up on it but my dad told me anyway that when I had paper left over that I had used for lessons to turn it over and he said instead of drawing on it to uh, use it for more lessons because there was eight of us kid so I didn't get to draw much and uh, but I'd go fishing my mother would go fishing with me I left to go fishing and I would sit and look at the trees and the leaves and the bushes and everything and see how they were put together and and I would think I could draw those you know but I never did start drawing trees and things, but uh, uh, I think that's when it started, is seeing the flowers along the river bank and, and everything. Everything was so pretty to me, and the water and everything was pretty. So I hope that someday I could do something. Draw it on paper is what I thought. I didn't know anything about painting. Uh, for a long time. How, how, how did you come to learn about painting? Well, all through the years, I uh, would say, oh, I wish I could paint that scene when we'd be traveling. And my husband would say, well, you probably could. But I said, no, I don't know how to get started. So one day I read in the journal news that there was a class for beginners starting in at the YWCA the next week and uh, my three daughters had married and left home and I was home alone I had a lot of time so I went to the phone and called and asked and uh, the lady said I said how are the students and she said doesn't matter how old they are if, they, if they're beginners they're beginners so that's all you have to be as a beginner and I said well I'm tempted and she said well why don't you sign up you might like it and I did I told her put me on the list and I went the next Wednesday and I took my neighbor with me but she she did drawing and everything but uh, the first class I didn't do very well drawing, but I figured that I would learn. And uh, my neighbor never did go back. Her son told her that he had seen <laughs> these older people's paintings and they weren't very good. And so she decided she wasn't going to go to the trouble, but I decided I'm going to go. And so I went along and my husband was tickled that I had something that I wanted to do and he knew he was real, uh, well, he just wanted me to do what I wanted to do. And uh, everything I did, he thought was good. <laughs> of course it wasn't. But, uh, but that's how I got started anyway. And my daughter had uh, given me a kit I guess four years before that, uh, an acrylic painting set with brushes and everything in it and, uh, for Christmas. And they had laid there all that time and I never tried to paint them. So that's when I pulled it out. Went to the first class, uh, or the second class rather. That day I got kind of uh, just of what I needed and everything, having that painting set helped. And uh, so the first class I went to, I went alone and 
I just loved it. And I couldn't wait till I got home to practice. And <laughs> one day my husband went to work early in the morning, right after breakfast. I went down the basement and I, I painted all day long, trying to paint rather. And when I heard him close his truck door in the afternoon, that's when I ate lunch. I always had dinner when he'd come in in the evening. And so I fixed it, and that's when I ate the first time that day, after breakfast, I mean. And so I was really impressed with it. And everybody treated me nice and, and didn't treat me like I was a old fogey or something. They were mostly young, but uh, I didn't miss any classes. And each one, I learned a little bit more. And oh, my husband just loved everything I <laughs> painted. <laughs> then I started giving them to the kids, you know, around. And uh, it just grew and grew. And uh, we went out to the uh, park. Uh, a bunch of us went out to one of the parks in Hamilton and painted one afternoon, but I liked it better at home, more than I did being out in the, in the park, because people paid more attention to you when you were painting and stopped watching, or if you didn't know what you were doing, you felt, felt kind of bad, so, but that's, uh, I I followed through with all the classes and I was doing pretty well, I thought, by the time I got through, but then I just kept practicing. How long did you take classes? Uh, six weeks. And, and you didn't take any more after that? No. Uh, uh, I met with those gals and we went out to the park two or three times. and but it wasn't a class. And uh, I just went from there on my own and I've enjoyed it a lot. And I used oils at first. And uh, I got the idea somewhere along the line that the oils weren't good for me. And I painted a picture for the classroom. They wanted me to paint a picture for the children's classroom at church. It was a three by six feet for a fit of window uh, casing. And uh, I painted that in oil and it turned out pretty well because it's still there. And uh, the next thing that happened was uh, one of the women at church asked me if uh, I would teach her to paint. I just found out that you did the paintings here. And uh, I said, yes. And she said, would you teach me to paint? And I said, oh, I'm not a teacher. I said, I just paint. And uh, she said, well, will you teach me what you know? And I said, yeah, I will. So she started taking classes for me <laughs> and in my basement paint room. So I guess I should tell you who she is, <laughs> Pat Thanberry. And uh, so it wasn't long till she was uh, selling paintings and even on the internet. And I think she sold one at a fundraiser for $400. And I'd never sold one for $400. And, uh, but she, she did real well. And but just from what I showed her, you know, and I didn't, I didn't start with the basics like, I guess I did too, but she did well, and Pat started coming over 
<clears throat> each Wednesday afternoon, and we would paint for several hours. Uh, this is Pat Stanberry with uh, that from church that asked me to give her classes, and uh, so she enjoyed it, I think, to begin with, and <clears throat> right on through, there goes my voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of fun at times. We'd paint the same thing. And we painted a birdhouse with a chickadee on it, just alike. She watched me paint mine, and then she painted hers. I sold mine for $35, and she sold hers for 400 <laughs> They were just alike. <laughs> and uh, so she kind of made me feel like I wasn't uh, too bad a teacher. <laughs> Well, when Vi and I started our classes, she told me she didn't know how to teach, and she wasn't a teacher, but um, she was a great teacher. It just uh, she, she was talking earlier about some of the paintings that we did together, and those are probably my, fa my favorite paintings because they turned out the best. The things that I did on my own, she would give me help, and, and she would... Uh, look at them and say, well, put a little more light over here, put a little shadow over here. And, and I was able to do that, but they, they still, the ones that I really felt like I did my best was the ones that we did right beside each other. Those are my favorites. Well, mm -hmm. they were my favorites too. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? This is kind of off the painting part, but the one thing that I got every Wednesday after we got done painting was a, a meal cooked by her. So we'd have dinner every Wednesday. So I always knew I was going to get fat on Thursday by fat. I'd be fat on Thursday because of how well she fed me. And then we go to church after that, go to Bible study, and so we'd always have a it was a, a full day. Pretty soon she was giving uh, paintings to people for gifts, too. Yeah. And, you know, one thing that I thought was interesting that we did was she has these old videos that are on the VHS tapes. And we would watch those right after dinner We because there would be mm -hmm. time between dinner and when we would leave. And she'd pull out these old tapes. Who were some of the teachers that were on those tapes? Oh, different ones. Lots of women and and, and Bob Ross. Yeah. What was that? What was that sometimes. lady's name that um, that we really liked? Uh, I think she died of cancer, and she did portraits. Uh, What's her name? I can't remember her name. I can't either. But uh, yeah, she did die. She was wonderful. But I I have her videos still. And we we watched a lot of Jerry Yarnell. He's uh, he's a little more current. And she he's Fine. taught me to paint like a man. She always said I painted like a man. She she <laughs> paints like a like a woman. <laughs> she, and that was one of the first things she said because I'm real angular and real detailed. And she likes a much more soft and much more flowing picture. So that, I thought that was interesting. <laughs> That's Jerry Yarnell's fault. Oh, well. <laughs> as long as you blame him instead of your teacher. <laughs> instead of you. <laughs>